<laughs> this is so weird. There's literally no one else around. I look so dumb. Oh no, I'm not seeing a clearing. This is, this is ridiculous. Right, come on, Sarah. Stop bailing out. All right, okay, now it's clear. Okay, starting the race in three, two, one. This is the story of Florence Eilot, also known as the Westminster Bridge Sprinter. Her story is so inspiring that we just have to share it with you. Stay tuned until the end of this video because I am going to be taking on the challenge that Flory is famous for. Let's see how that goes. But first, if you are new around here, please do hit subscribe and like this video to cheer me on. In the early 1930s, a teenager called Florence Eilot worked in a catering team at the Houses of Parliament. She was a passionate runner and was particularly good at the 220 yard dash. And an MP decided to set her up with a challenge which had been tradition within the Houses of Parliament. That challenge was to run across Westminster Bridge within the 12 chimes of Big Ben at noon. So on the morning of April 14th, 1934, she donned her running gear, jogged across the far side of Westminster bridge to St Thomas's Hospital, her allocated start point. At the chime of the first bell, her sprint began. The bridge was full of traffic and pedestrians and so it should have been an impossible task, but she did it and she became the first person ever to do so. Now unfortunately, as you can see, <laughs> Big Ben is under construction and so the chimes have been stopped for the moment. But luckily I've got producers on hand in order to do the chimes for me so that I am going to be doing the challenge as close to the original as possible. So the dash starts all the way down on the other side of the bridge at St Thomas's Hospital and ends here. So let's do a little slow jog. I'm going to start my watch just to see how long this is going to take me. I don't know whether to feel confident or not. Probably not. So the distance over the bridge is 1,160 feet, which is roughly around 350 meters. No one's exactly sure how long she took to cover the distance, as reports of her doing it by the 10th chime, which would have been around 40 seconds, would have meant running quite a bit faster than the then world record for 200 meters, and then carrying on for a full 350 meters. But suffice to say, it was fast. And for the purposes of today, where the Running Channel team has set me the challenge of seeing how I compare to Florence for the Westminster Bridge Dash, I'm going to be benchmarking myself against that 40 second mark. Oops, okay. And we're at St Thomas's. Okay, so as a leisurely jog, as a leisurely jog, that took me two minutes and five seconds. So I need to halve it at minus 20 seconds. Easy. Right, let's do this. I'm starting in line with the hospital. <laughs> this is so weird, there's literally no one else around. I look so dumb. Oh. <clears throat> See, I think I've got a slight advantage here because I'm not just waiting until it gets to 12 o'clock, which would be more scary. But now I'm going, oh no, 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 there's some people. We're going to let those people go. I might just have to accept that this is going to be a... All right, okay, now it's clear. Okay, starting the race in three, two, one. Oh, how fast can I go across this bridge? Oh my God. Do I look stupid? Yes. Come on, doing this for the girls. Get out of my way, get out of my way, get out of my way, get out of my way. Sorry. <laughs> there could be casualties and it's not going to be me. Oh no. Oh. I've lost precious time there. Come on. Right. Goodbye. the finish. Come on, come on. It's 
to go generally do that overlooking the water. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'm not a sprinter. I am not a sprinter. <sighs> oh no. Ah. Oh. So I just looked at my time. That was flat out. That was three minutes, 31 seconds per kilometer pace, which is not something I specialize in. I'm north of four, probably north of five minutes per kilometer. So that took me one minute, 12 seconds. That was brutal. Florence, I take my hat off to you. That is impressive. Whoa, props to you, Flory. That was so incredibly tough and even more impressive now that I've had a go at myself. So she managed to run across the bridge in 40 seconds. I did it in one minute and 12 seconds. So under half, is that an achievement? Let us know if you have a go at this challenge. And are there any other challenges that your running heroes are famous for that you want us to take on? Let us know in the comments down below and we will see you next time on The Running Channel.